This is just going to be a quick one today. If you missed the last Hoopat video, first of all, how dare you? But second, it doesn't matter. Here's a quick refresher. The original Hoopat replaces your stock bat and gives you a way to swap release film without swearing, stripping bolts, or losing the will to live. No more unscrewing, nearly 30 or more tiny bolts that always fall into the most unreachable corner of your worktop. No trimming FEP, no alignment, no stress. Just flip the clips, drop in a pre-cut sheet, snap it shut. Done. You can spend more time opening a bag of Haribo than installing this thing. The Hoopat has genuinely made one of the worst parts of resin printing, the bloody film swap, almost enjoyable. Almost. Now, since that last video dropped, I got more than a few comments from people with a little too much confidence saying something like, mate, that's an absolute waste of money. I can change normal FEP in under five minutes. Okay, fine, please show me how. Seriously, tag me, DM me, carry a pigeon me a time lapse. Because if you can go from a fully mounted VAT to a clean, swap, tensioned, and reinstalled film in five minutes or less, yeah, I genuinely want to know what kind of time bending sorcery you're performing. Because I can't do it, and so many other people have echoed this. So please, I'm not saying you're lying, I'm saying show me how. But here, with this video evidence, I installed the Hoopat in under 90 seconds, and I messed it up halfway through. Look, I'm not trying to have a go. The point is, I'm still willing to bet that this beats the best times anyone out there can do whilst I was actively failing. Now, if you don't like this, cool, don't buy it, but let's not pretend this isn't a great convenience feature. And if convenience wasn't so valuable to so many of us, we'd still be hand cranking car windows and rewinding VHS tapes. So please try it. And while you're filming yourself to see if you can do a FEP change in five minutes or less, let's talk about this video's sponsor because it's not Chitu Systems. They just sent me the thing to make the video on. These next guys actually paid me to show off their stuff. And if these guys are good enough for the likes of Linus to promote, then they're more than good enough for me. FlexiSpot sent over their C7 Max ergonomic chair and E7 Plus standing desk, both built for long hours of comfort and proper support, whether you're working, printing, or just parked in front of your screen for way too long. The C7 Max has a fully adjustable headrest, backrest, tilt, seat depth, and 5D armrests that basically move in every direction you want. It's built to support your lower back and the cushion blends latex and memory foam to stay comfy over long sessions and the frame is designed to remain stable during use, including when fully reclining. Now pair that with the E7 Plus, which is a steel frame four-leg standing desk that can lift up to 540 pounds, which is just under 250 kilos in real numbers. And the bit they haven't paid me to say is, yeah, I was quite impressed with the stability, even at full height. And it's even got height presets to quickly switch between sitting and standing. And here's how both look together in a pseudo real workspace. And I say pseudo real because it's before I inevitably cram it with clutter. FlexiSpot offers a variety of color options and worktop veneers too. So you can match it to your setup and still pretend you're organized for the first hour or so that you use it. With FlexiSpot, you get a 30-day return policy, a 10-year warranty on the chair, and 15 years on the desk frame. So if you're watching a 3D printing video, but somewhere in the back of your mind thinking, I'd love a standing desk or a new chair, here's one you may not have known about that you can now consider. Check out FlexiSpot.com for more info, and there's also discount codes in the description if you fancy picking one up. Anyway, back to it. Here's what makes the X4H version of the Hoopat special. If you hadn't guessed it already, the H means heater. So this brings back the heater for the Saturn IV Ultra 16K. Now, as you probably know, if you're using this machine, the stock VAT has a heater in the rim, but when you swap over to a Hoopat, you lose the feature entirely. And let's be honest, the heater is kind of the key feature of having a Saturn IV Ultra 16K. Wow, that printer needs a shorter name. So for 16 -ook? Wow. Huh. With that kind of portman acronym, I could probably get a job in marketing for Chitu Systems. Anyway, that missing heater function was one of the reasons that I and many others wouldn't use the Hoopat on that machine. But now, no reason not to. This version gives us all of the original Hoopat convenience and keeps the resin nice and warm so it flows better, prints better, and sticks like it's meant to. And yes, the Saturn IV Ultra 16K is one of those printers that many of us love to hate right before we go and buy one anyway. It crams in literally every feature possible. 16K mono screen, heated VAT, time-lapse camera, flip over lid, onboard multi-exposure tests, and fast print speeds. All it's lacking is an easily exchangeable screen, and it has a build plate sillier than the name Hoopat. But honestly, find me a printer nowadays that isn't daft or stupid in some way. 
The Hoopat X4H improves the package further. Like, why would you keep wrestling with bolts and tension rings when you can just not? So yeah, short one today just to say this exists and makes the 16K hook better. And also now I've got a standing desk. If you want anything shown in this video, there will be affiliate links in the description. Click those before you buy and I'll make a commission at no cost to you. That's how I fund the channel. But what I love here, just as a close, is that Chitu Systems actually listened and that doesn't happen often in this space. Usually it's just new printer, more pixels, please clap. But here, Chitu Systems took something good and made it better and available to more people. So now, if only we can get these or something like them for the GK3 printers or the Hagias machines or the Athena too. And we won't know if we don't ask. So what would you like to see a Hoopat on? Let me know in the comments. If you don't already own a Hoopat and you use the Ultra 16K, do you now want to upgrade it with one of these? Again, let me know that in the comments too. And finally, if you can genuinely swap a full FEP sheet the old way properly in five minutes or less, bolts and all, drop me a video. Please, I'll feature it, I'll react to it, I'll probably cry a bit. The one thing left to say is I don't know the price of this thing yet. I know the last one was pretty expensive. I don't know what this one's gonna be. So again, once I've got it, click the affiliate link down below, go to the page, see the price, let me know what you think. Is the X4H worth it now that it's got a heater? Oh, and I forgot to say hi, this is Fohammer Videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, and the hugest thanks goes to our members who are on screen now. Please consider joining them for Discord roles, exclusive videos, and early access. Until next time, how you doing? Fohammer out.